Um, CC Foss in Berlin is going to reopen, which is nice, and a couple of other venues. This is from RA. Um, it says the following. So some Berlin clubs are to reopen as afternoon beer gardens with no dancing rules. I thought the no dancing thing was pretty funny. You know, imagine trying to police that. Like, do they have to get extra security in to make sure no one does a cheeky two-step? No one kind of does a little, like, you know, Ricardo Villalobos hand in the air like that, twirling around, right? <laughs> How would you stop that sort of shit? Or, did, or, or does it mean no dancing standing up? Can you dance in your chair? Like, you know, the kind of like that? Or you shuffle? But I thought it was a pretty cool idea anyway, regardless. Um... A lot of the bars in Berlin, especially the bigger ones like CC Foss and no, well, the ones with bigger out uh, outdoor areas, Kata, Blau, whatever it's called, same sort of thing. They could probably repurpose their clubs to fit in with these new rules, especially with the sun being out. I'm assuming it's great weather there at the moment. Um, usually the summers in Berlin are beautiful, so it makes more sense to you know take advantage of that. And the fact that you know they haven't got that many cases, they've handled the coronavirus thing pretty well as a nation. So why not reward them by giving them the ability to open up some places? And what what better place to start than Berlin? So this is from City First, one of the venues that will operate with a food license from this weekend. Great. So it says some places that City First opening is today, as today Saturday. I'm assuming after afternoon beer guns operating with food licenses there'll be music but no strict dancing rules and most of the bars will close around 10 p.m which is nice because it means you can just you know head off and go back home to an after hours or hang out again get a couple more i imagine most of the spetties will be open as well so that makes that kind of life good as well you'll be able to play some music from your mp3s or whatever maybe um this is according to the berlin uh zoitong however you pronounce that about blank has also planned so partially reopened uh, full details are yet to be confirmed okay that's great to hear man again um that's an adequate reward i think it goes to show just how crazy things are in the uk that we ha we are deciding to open up even though we have maybe i don't know double the cases and deaths that or triple the cases and deaths that germany has and we're thinking of doing some things and softening the you know the lockdown it doesn't make any sense really they're way ahead of us in terms of what they're doing in germany and they're getting the rewards for it and <clears throat> i will assume they'll probably abide by the rules as well to make sure they're not in a position where you know they have like a second or third spike because people act a bit stupid and don't keep up some uh basic social you know guidelines in terms of social distancing and making sure you have a mask on all that good stuff um yeah i'm not, i'm there for it and again some light in the tunnel i think that might be a good sign for us going forward in the uk if we do get things under control we could be we could see some of the bigger places or places that have the capacity to or the ability to kind of host people outside to maybe you know have maybe some barriers set up indoors where you can't sit down you have to kind of like use the bar to pass in pass out but you can go and hang out in a bar in a beer garden because quite a lot of weather spins are like that right they usually buy bigger buildings and they usually have quite big garden space i know they have a few in my area like that and a few independent pubs as well have those sort of like weird indoor gazebo things that you can use so there is a bit of room for that to happen and hopefully that might mean that a few of our independent spots will stay open once everything's finished as well that'd be nice instead of reopening and we've only got spoons around you i mean no one wants that i know i don't i know i don't cool so what is next is here ba -ba 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 -ba. what's meant to talk about da -da -da -da. Primavera is um, postponed, unfortunately, which was a shame because this would have been their 20th anniversary on 2020. So it would have set up really nicely, you know, for the marketing purposes. I'm sure they had a whole slew of material they were waiting to get out there and push. But, you know, um, life threw them a little bit of a curveball. But they've handled this stuff really well compared to other places that have kind of been a bit, you know, they've acted a bit of a scumbag way. But they've announced it here on RA. They said Primavera is the latest uh, festival to postpone its 2020 edition in light of the global coronavirus pandemic, following the Spanish government's restrictions on large-scale events throughout the summer. Uh, the festival has confirmed it's not holding a festival this year. The 2021 will be set um, to be the 20th anniversary. Instead, the next edition will take place June 2nd through June 6th next year, 2021. In a statement, it said the following. It's down below here. Let's read this. It says, today we've announced the most difficult decision in history 
uh, finally we will not be able to celebrate 25th anniversary during 2020 in the face of the evolution of the COVID-19 we are devastated and are terribly sorry for the inconvenience caused but the health and well-being of our festival goers as people involved this festival has always been and still is our absolute priority we cannot thank you enough for patience love and understanding in this uncertain terms uncertain scenario sorry I have to say as well because obviously some people always say this sort of thing about love for their fans and people that go there for a big festival for a festival that has a lot of big corporate sponsorships and you know it's a bit of a juggernaut the times that i've been i have felt a lot of care and attention for people that are there um they really give a fuck right um you don't you still don't see people getting too moldy or too fucked up there's always somebody in hand loads of uh, medical help loads of places to get water loads of places to get refreshments and food and shit and just generally a really cool easy laid back vibe like you could easily go there buy your merch to premium brand i'm saying listen to a couple of bands you know um have a little twirl and go home and you would see none of the madness and if you want to see the madness and you want to get a bit leery move closer to the front get into the speakers go somewhere where it's a bit dark and people are getting into all sorts of nonsense and you'll see all the freak shit but if you want to just hang out you can quite easily then i like that kind of vibe about it i think that's part of what makes it a really cool place to go to and um i'm not surprised that they dealt with it in such a cool way because it seems like you know they're actually run by adults not in terms of age but in terms of just maturity they don't they're not treating this as some sort of like cowboy operation and they're also aware that i guess because some festivals are not doing that some festivals are sort of like burning their bridges now not knowing or without any foresight that this thing will pass and people will remember the people that were shitty you're right they'll remember who treated them poorly and you know word travels fast on the interwebs so you're you know you basically ruin your reputation for what for the sake of not giving people refunds makes no sense so the following said um so they said here in a statement prima said all tickets that have been bought will be valid for the next year's festival and will include a special benefit for those who decide to keep which is awesome right but it says as well as the option it will also be possible to request a refund for those purchase tickets from next wednesday june 3rd so nice and clear if you want to keep it you can and it will make it allowed to go to the next one for next year which i'm sure they're gonna you know everyone and their mum's gonna want to play that one right regardless of what they get paid um but if you want to keep it but if you want to sell it and get your money back so if you're in a tight place you can easily request a refund from wednesday june 3rd onwards no no delay no stress um but other places you know they're ignoring people's emails they're like i think it was rolling loud portugal in it right they just put out a statement saying we've postponed it if you want to resell your ticket you can but that's it like <laughs> effectively you've kind of like wasted your money this is um on that same day we'll announce the first artist for Pubia 2021 which is great i love that I lo again i love the synergy i love the profession of it they got, you can request a refund that day but it also going to let you know who's topping the bill for the next year's festival which is great because it puts you in a bit of a predicament you know do i press refund or just keep it for next year if it was me i'd keep it i've always been that kind of way i think if you buy tickets for an event and you don't end up going just just sell just either sell them on if you can or give them away i usually try and give mine away i will usually just search on twitter if somebody wanted to go to an event i'll just send them my fucking um screen you know my um, e-ticket on my phone and let them use it because um, you've already made the commitment to go you get people the money what are you going to do you're going to ask for a refund from the promoter it's a big gauge you know i mean just give it something else to enjoy um the lineup will celebrate the 20th anniversary of the festival embracing the best festival ever philosophy we are counting on you to make this happen until then please take good care of yourselves and follow the advice of the authorities at all times the festival team continues to work intensively in order to be able in 2021 to celebrate something more than just pre very sound 20th anniversary meeting and dance together again yeah that's gonna be beautiful in the bus on the sun dancing to your favorite band Oof, can't wait to see that one